let's learn something about combinatorics today. Counting problems are my favorite ones. In combinatorics, there is a very interesting strategy. A strategy to do casework. So, the most important thing to understand about casework is, uh, suppose you want to count a particular set of things. So, a set of things that you want to count, you want to count, so you can split it into mutually exclusive and exhaustive subcases. So let me write those two words. Mutually exclusive and exhaustive. So I'll explain what these mean. You divide it into these cases and then you separately count them and add them up. Mutually exclusive means that cases are not overlapping and exhaustive means that they together, all the cases together make all possible scenarios. So this one means they have no overlap and this one means exhaustive means they cover everything cover everything uh, so this is a very important strategy in counting problems and uh, what I will do is I will use a problem from ISI BSTAT entrance this is also useful for IOQM, American Math Competition, and other math Olympiads. This problem is from ISI BSTAT entrance, 2007. And I'll show you how to do piecework in combinatorics. Uh, a little about Chinta, the creator organization of this particular video. You can visit chinta.com for outstanding programs in Mathematical Olympiads, in ISI and CMI entrances. We also have programs or, uh, for Physics and Informatics Olympiads. So, if you want, you can check the link in the description. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this problem. The problem says... Uh, this is the given data that we have a set of 20 numbers 1, 2, 3 up to 20 20 integers you have to select 3 of them let's call them A, B, C such that 4 divides this product of A, B, C 4 divides it. The question is, how many ways, how many ways can you do this? So, uh, we'll start with a very simple uh, case study of this problem. Suppose this set contains all possible cases. All possible cases. I will split it into three subcases. The first one is exactly one number is even among A, B, and C. So remember, you have to select three numbers first number or one of the numbers, exactly one of the numbers is even. Exactly two numbers 
are even and third case is all three numbers are even okay so notice that it's not possible that all numbers are odd right because you want the product to be divisible by 4 so all numbers cannot be odd let me write that all can cannot be odd and if you check these are the th only three cases possible they do not overlap so if the case where exactly one number is even cannot be the same with any of the cases where exactly two numbers are even right and obviously none of them can be similar with when all three numbers are even so they are mutually exclusive and they're also exhaustive because these are the only cases that are possible whenever three numbers multiply and their product is divisible by four those case those cases says can be in this one of these three subcases so mutually exclusive and exhaustive now let's count them so the case where exactly one number is even let me copy that since the product is divisible by 4 since the product is divisible by 4 that even number even number must itself be divisible by 4 divisible by 4 Otherwise, A times B times C won't be divisible by 4, right? So, how many ways can we do that? Well, there are 5 multiples of 4 from 1 to 20. So, we choose one of them. And this can be done in 5 choose 1 ways, which is equal to 5. And remaining two numbers remaining two numbers you choose from 10 odd numbers choose from 10 odd numbers after all exactly one number is even so the remaining two must be odd so that is in 10 choose two ways so total number of possibilities is 5 times 10 choose 2 or 5 into 10 into 9 by 2 into 1 this is 225 cases right next we have exactly two numbers are even so now we don't we don't have to really choose from multiples of 4 because we need a division by 4 and if two numbers of a b c if two of them are even then obviously the product will be divided divisible by 4 so choose two out of 10 even numbers so that is doable in 10 choose two ways and the remaining odd number so the remaining odd number the remaining odd number can be selected from can be selected from 10 odds in 10 choose one ways so total possibilities becomes 10 choose 2 times 10 choose 1 so 10 into 9 by 2 into 1 and in, uh, in times 10 
So this is 450. So first case we had 225, second case we have 450. The third case where all three are even, I will give you as a challenge problem. Find out the number of cases where all three are even. Put it in the comment section and give me the final answer. So you have to, whatever this number, mystery number is, you have to add to 225, 450, that number. Whatever the number of cases where all three are even. So this thing gives the final value. Okay, so give it a try. And this is an example of a casework in combinatorics. It's a very powerful strategy. It will be useful for mathematical olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and other similar contests. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.